business management student. So in the future, we might become an entrepreneur or a manager of the company. So um, we, in the, we might need some help from the bank, like some financial support and credit support. So this time I stand, choose to standing on the banker's field to know how the banks evaluate the, the company and to know how, the, how they work, how they perform at the workplace. And the place that I work is called Bank of Communications. And it's based, the, the head office is based on uh, China, but I worked in the London branch. And during the presentation, I will introduce my experience and few skills I've learned during the internship. And I was worked in the business development department credit section. So once the application from the customer will come into us first, we we'll look at the, the money they applied and um, and the, the credit of the company and decided to make a report or not. But once we decide, we found out the, the company is um, valuable and uh, stable. Uh, we will like make the, a relatively low risk. We will make a report and make to to the audit department and let them to find out is there something myth missed or something wrong with the report and then finally we will deliver the report to the head office and let them to decide we're gonna invest the company or not so this is basically the procession of what we've done and this is the cover page of the application the, the customer cost PFA PLC here is the um, basic information it is a waste management company. So the reason why we decide to like make a report or dis or um, invest the company is the post that the company has done the post IPO represents an opportunity to the bank. So over the past ten years, Bifa has worked hard to reposition itself as as one of the UK's leading waste management company who's reorganized the capital structure now put on a stable footing. So we found that there, there is a chance for a bank to make profit. So yeah, we, we've done the report. And here is the way how we're going to evaluate the, the company's valuable or not. Um, so here's the data that I've collected. It's called EBITDA margin. So here's the example of how we calculate EBITDA margin. Um, so EBITDA, we know it's uh, earning before interest rate depreciation and amortization. So it allows uh, us to like focus on the outcome of the operation while excluding the non-operating decision like interest rate or something. Because sometimes net, uh, a company's net income is rel relatively low, but it doesn't mean the company don't have the upper uh, capability to repay the debit. So you can see here, uh, it's the net debit divided by EBITDA. So in the pa in the in the future years, the number is relatively low. So we regard there is a low risk with the company and the company is developed in the future. So yeah, this is a good news for for the bank to like invest or or like make the credit sales to the company. So. Um, in the report, like during the during the internship, I also learned how to form a report, a whole report, and this is the the other sections of the report we have to like mention. So the the first one is the overview of the industry. So once we're looking at one company, we just not only that look at one. We also look at the whole industry, like. Is, is it a gross market and is it stable for development and also we will look at the government police policies to like find out whether we could, the, com the, the company in UK is going to develop good and next is the group strategy we will also look at how the company performed in the past few years and how they Thoughts for the future, like uh, Bifa as an example, they decide to like change the traditional uh, waste management waste 
to like um, to to energy like to to energy so uh, they they will make a development and uh, buy more facilities to uh, accomplish that goal so that's the reason why they ask for the loan so and the next is management valuation so we will also look at the shift of the company by CEOs or manager of it looking at how they perform during the time they're in the position and if they are perform good and stable we will we will decide to, to like relatively low risk with the company because um, in, in this time they are perform good um, so here is the conclusion of my internship so I was like uh, kind of like a shadow of the stuff uh, look, look at how they perform and how we're gonna make a whole report good so um, like in the bank the workplace is really tense and everybody is working in their own job so but in that, at that time in that situation communication is also important as well because once you make the statistic you, you need to know others how they um, uh, how they uh, how they make the statistics for for the another aspect. So we need to combine the, all the numbers, all the thoughts together, because every number, every words is vital for the business decision. So um, my opinion and thoughts is work as a group and uh, be cautious with the number and the facts. So that's the end of my presentation. <laughs>